The residential water heater was invented back in 1889, and the basic concept still holds water today. It heats water, usually with natural gas, propane, or electricity. Then it keeps it continuously hot, so that you always have a supply on tap. Life without it would mean a lot of cold showers. Water heaters may look uninspiring, but inside, they're hot stuff. To make one, a hydraulic press transforms a round steel blank into a dome shape. This dome will form the base of a gas-heated tank, and it will hold the burner. Next, rollers behind and above curl a sheet of steel around a cylinder. This forms the inner tank shape. A seam welder device then pinches the two ends of the tank shape together and welds them. In the next step, a worker positions the tank body under a projection welder. He selects a threaded fitting, places it on the tank, and lowers the welder. This projection welder uses 10,000 volts of electricity to fuse fittings to the tank body. It also welds fittings to the top of the tank. Valves and other parts will be screwed into these fittings later. Next, a press applies over 27 tons of force to fit a top onto the tank. Then they spray liquid enamel inside of the spinning tank. It will be baked in at 900 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes to prevent rusting. Now it's back to the bottom of the tank. A worker inserts a flue tube in a hole in the center, and an automated welder joins it to the tank base. The flue will vent gases from the burner. After anti-rust enamel coating is baked onto the base and flue, they lower the tank body onto it. Next, robotic welding arms work both ends of the tank. One welds the base to it, the other bonds the flue to the top. Now, the pressure test. They pump air into the tank and then pour water over the outside. If water bubbles on the tank, it means air is escaping and there's a leak that needs to be fixed. Here, they install elements in an electric water heater. and they hook up a thermostat and the wires that run to it. Now it's time to make the tank's outer shell or jacket. An operator slides a painted steel shape onto a mandrel so that it becomes cylindrical. A lock former then moves along a rail, folding and pressing the seam together. Next, a roll former crimps the top and bottom edges so that lids can be easily installed. Here, they drape a plastic apron over a tank and then slide on its jacket or tank shell with just the electric components exposed. They screw a steel cover over them. Here's a demonstration of what's next. A chemical reaction causes polyurethane foam to expand in seconds. They inject this expanding foam into the plastic apron that's now between the tank and outer shell. The foam will insulate the tank. Now they finish installing the wiring on this electric heater. And then do an inspection. It makes the grade. On gas heaters, they slide a burner into the dome-shaped base and then connect the burner tubes to the gas valve. They attach some wiring that controls the burner ignition and then hook it up to the gas line for a test run. That inner glow is the burner at work. They light a torch on the flame and pass it over the valve to check for little gas leaks. It didn't ignite, so there aren't any. It gets the seal of approval, and now it's up to the consumer to test the waters when it's installed.